Afternoon YouTube, just about to start doing my video on my long list of cars that I have previously owned. Just on my driveway at the moment, trying to pick a nice position where I can sit down and talk to you through the cars I have owned. Just uh, showing you the driveway at the moment. We have my brother's Saab uh, 93 Aero, I believe, 2003. And we have my brother's 2015 Civic on the drive. He's not actually using it much at the moment because he has a work company van. So instead of getting my bath on to drive, I think I'll sit right about here in the sun in front of my brother's new Honda Civic Sport and talk to you guys about my cars. So let's get this video rolling. So welcome to my car history video, just giving you an overview of all the cars I have owned. I did a count up last night and it was actually nine that I've owned since the age of 17. I started driving when I was 17, started having my driving lessons when I was 17. I failed my first driving test, passed second time. Okay, so car number one was handed down to me by my nan, it was a Pro Nipper. 850cc engine I think, it was on a W plate, so I think that's around 2000. My nan and husband at the time had bought it from brand new. Very, very basic car, had speakers, no radio. By the time I had it, it had faded red paint. My nan had been trying to touch it up with nail varnish over the years, so it wasn't really a good look. But it was a good car to learn to drive in, drove okay, and I actually ended up passing my test in that car, second time, like I say. So that was the Pro Nipper. Next car I moved on once I passed my test in the uh, nipper. Thought I'd go on to a bit of a safe, safer car with airbags. I thought airbags would be a good idea for a new, newly passed driver. So I ended up having a Ford Fiesta 1.2 ZTEC. Again, that was a burgundy red colour. That was a 98 plate, I believe. I actually ended up rescuing that one from a scrapyard. It was going to be scrapped, but I bought it quite well for a good price. Ended up saving it. Ended up doing some mods to the car, changed the rear lights, also put a different exhaust system on the car which helped a lot. So after owning the Fiesta for, I can't remember how, it was, how long it was, about 8 months or so, I think it was my parents found this Auto Renault Clio on Gumtree. Um, and it was a bit silly but I never knew what auto cars were at the time when my parents were telling me you know they change gear for you they don't roll back on hills because that's always one of my phobias in a manual car rolling back on the hill and stalling even though I never did but you never know so um, yeah I ended up buying this Renault Clio had low mileage it was a 1.4 RT engine which is a sports sort of engine had sports mode and all that sort of stuff really nice colour it was in a turquoise sort of mint green colour so yeah I got that because I wanted to see what an auto was like really and it was quite a retro looking car had a sunroof just fabric seats really nice um so yeah, like i said that was a 1993 reg um and that is one of the cars that i really regret getting rid of because i absolutely love that car if i could have it back tomorrow i would so that was car number three number four that was a brand new car was a chevrolet Avio 1.4 automatic 2012 slash 62 plate. Went from an old auto to my first ever brand new car, and that was another my first brand new car. I'd only had the Renault Clio for three months until, and at the time Chevrolet were doing this part exchange offer. So it turned out I actually ended up making quite a bit of money on the Clio by the time I traded it in for their one fifteen hundred pound I think it was the garage were doing a deal on. So I ended up getting rid of my old Clio for a brand new Chevrolet Avio. When it came to test driving the car, I actually test drove the one I ended up buying because that's the only automatic they had at the time. Yeah, that was car number four. Now onto car number five. At the same time of owning the Chevrolet Avio, me and my brother and my boyfriend at the time ended up buying a Mark M a Mazda MX-5 Mark 1 and that was an H reg so it was like I say the Mark 1 not the import not the Unos that was faded red as well reason of getting rid of that car was it only just passed the MOT and after seeing all the advisories from the MOT we thought it was about time to get rid of it it was quite rotten underneath um, mileage at about 140k which wasn't too bad Absolutely great fun. Again, another sort of car I regretted getting rid of, but not really because it needed work doing, like I say. 
drove like a go-kart, just chucked the roof back and off you go. So that was that, and again, after getting rid of the MX-5, me and my boyfriend at the time bought a Golf GTI Mark III, two litre, didn't like that car, Tatty only got it because he liked VWs, um, yeah, just a bit of a chaff mobile, so yeah, had the Chevrolet, MX-5, got rid of the MX-5, Chevrolet, GTI, then got rid of them both, just had the Chevrolet at that point. The 7, I ended up trying trading in the new Chevrolet Avio after owning it about one and a half years for my second brand new car which was a 2014 Vauxhall Adam. The reason of getting rid of the Chevrolet Avio for the Adam was because like I say the Avio is automatic, it was a bit juicy, I didn't think I needed that big of a car for just me. So I ended up customising my Adam online all to my specifications. So it took about two, two to three months to build. Had it in the Arden blue with black roof, black mirrors, black logo bar. Quite like that car, did quite a lot to it. Got a custom uh, built power flow exhaust system, cane and air filter, junk 16 inch sort of deep dish alloys. It looked absolutely lush. The reason I got rid of that was because, in the end, well, from, since I had the car from the start, I actually had gearbox issues. Took it to Vauxhall, they didn't believe me. They had the trained professionals look at it, and apparently, all I was changing gear wrong, which is why the gearbox had been completely faulty from the start. So, couldn't be done with them and their awful customer service. The car number eight is my 2013 Bar 595 Turismo 1.4 T jet turbo engine. Got that because my parents previously had a Fiat 500 convertible. They then upgraded theirs for an Abarth convertible. I didn't really know what Abarth was until they had their car. My parents kept saying to me, look, you need to get rid of your Adam and get one of these. And I thought, well, I don't really like them. Test drove the Abarth, fell in love as you do. They had one in the showroom, which I liked, so I ended up parked, part X in my Vauxhall Adam. At the same time of owning the Abarth, I decided to have a second car again. Um, bought an Astra van, Vauxhall Astra van, y Reg, so again about 2,000 a year. Bought it off a scrap guy for cheap. The only reason I bought that was to sell it on for profit, which I did, so job done. So yeah, that was just a quick overview of the nine cars I have owned. Like I say, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and I hope you found this video a little bit interesting. Take care, bye.